Hello and welcome. We are going to do, I'm hoping, a quick reading. Um, there's more information that has come out about Fort Hood, um, another disappearance of a person. So I wanted to ask the tarot um, if there's anything we need to know or anything we can know or anything we can do. So the questions I've written down to ask are, um, and while I was looking for which deck I wanted to use, this is actually the deck that um, really popped out. So uh, we're using the Haunted House Tarot. Take that however you want. Um, but uh, I'm going to ask, is there something going on? Well, we're going to start very general and then get more specific. Has there been other disappearances that we weren't made aware of? And will they find Sergeant Fernandez? Um, will there be more disappearances? And why are people disappearing? And... Very strangely, while I was writing down my questions, the word curse popped into my head. So I wrote it down with quotation marks around it and a question mark. Um, so that may be a question we should be asking as well. So let's get to it. All right, Spirit. Let's talk about Fort Hood in Texas military base and the disappearances of the... I guess faculty there, I don't know if that's the right word, but is there something going on at Fort Hood? Is there something going on at Fort Hood? Okay, two cards. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say there is definitely something not right, okay? So here we have the uh, number four in the Major Arcana, which is the Emperor, and we also have the Nine of Swords. So the Emperor is about authority, and, uh, you know, he's basically, he rules his domain. Whatever he perceives that to be, he is the ruler of his domain. Um, it's about control and rules, masculine, masculinity, domain, again, um, yeah, so... I, I just, this woman looks very scared. Uh, the Nine of Swords talks about um, anxiety, not being able to sleep, worry. Um, yeah, this man has a very large gun. We are talking about, oh, okay. So we are talking about a military base. Um, while I was saying that sentence and what paused me was the um, taxidermy on the wall. He's a hunter. A hunter people I feel like are being hunted okay um, that's what I'm getting from the is there something going on uh, the very specifically I'm getting that people are being hunted okay um, people are, or maybe it's more of people being afraid of being hunted I'm really also suddenly drawn to the globe here um, yeah Something to do with the location specifically. The location. I'm getting like a like GPS location. Um, something going on there. Um, I'm getting really strongly that there's hunting. Now whether or not people are just afraid that they're being hunted. Um, if there is a an actual, you know, something going on where people are being hunted down for specific reasons. Um, I, I haven't really read into any of the articles about... Um, the two most recent, um, there's one that went, I guess, was reported missing or, you know, was at least the public was allowed to know about them being missing it was yesterday. That was Sergeant Fernandez. And then we also had um, Vanessa, and forgive me, I cannot remember her last name, who they did end up finding remains for, I believe. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research. I don't like to do the research before the reading because I feel like it will skew what comes up and my perception of the cards. So I really don't do a whole lot of research first, um, just on purpose. Um, so this is like, if you're really following it, please leave comments, um, either validating or, or whether or not I'm like way off on something. But I know there was a Vanessa and I know that the most recent one was Sergeant Fernandez. I know there's other stuff going on. I did see a headline about a gentleman who um, injured his child. Um, I don't know if he lives on the base or near the base, something around there when, when I was pulling up Fort Hood um, just to really basic to find out honestly just to find out what the the guy's name was that just went missing 
Um, so I didn't really read any of the articles, but I did see headlines and that's really all I'm going off of. Um, so that's what I'm getting for that question. Has there been disappearances we haven't been made aware of? Move these off to the side. I'm going to leave those out. Normally I would um, put them back in, but I'm going to leave those out up here. <clears throat> Are there more disappearances that we haven't been made aware of? Three cards. Okay, y'all. These are all three major arcana cards, okay? Okay, so this is temperance here. Temperance being about my kid screaming, hold on. Okay, sibling fight. They're fine. Nobody's injured. Moving right along. So this is temperance. This is about um, bringing things together. This is, sorry, I have a nervous knuckle popping thing. Oh my gosh. I'm very nervous about, like, I started off nervous about this reading, so bear with me. Um, it's it's about blending, um, taking baby steps and, and keeping things balanced, blending. I'm getting the word um, alchemized, alchemized, alchemy. Um, that's what I'm getting there. It's a, it's a blending of a couple of things. Then we have the chariot here um, about movement. Like, he's got the door open. Like, they're moving people here. Uh, this one would be the Justice card. Um, another one that's kind of about balance. Um, this is this is very concerning, them being all major arcanas. We also have the Emperor over here. We have a lot of major stuff going on here. This is big. This is big, guys. Something big is going down. Um, I feel like they are... Um, they're trying to move something. They're trying to move energy is the word I'm getting. Moving energy. There's a movement in the energy. Okay. Um, so a little backstory about this card, um, the Justice card. This is the head nurse, and these are her underlings behind her there. Like underlings, that's kind of not the greatest word, but they, they look very um, envious. Not necessarily envious of her, but they're kind of like they're talking behind her back. And then these two kind of look like they're gossiping too. I feel like there's a lot um, going on behind the scenes and uh, a lot of things being moved. At, like this is travel, This like he's the chauffeur, he's got the door open and he's got his hand there, like inviting them in. There's something um, ushered, the word usher came in um, to my mind. Um, something being ushered, a movement. Um, so yeah, I feel like maybe this means that they are hiding other, other disappearances. They're going away, they're moving it. Um, it's, just not getting a really good vibe overall about this question, about these cards for this question. Um, that they're, they're definitely, I feel like there's, there is somebody who's moving people. Okay. And, and they're trying to, they're trying to keep a balance of inform. Oh, a balance of information. Um, that's what I just got. So like, Okay, okay, temperance being, you know, a little bit at a time, um, blending things together and alchemy, I feel like, um, I feel like they're giving us little tidbits of information just to, now, oh, okay, um, two things just popped in, kind of almost at the same time, kind of, uh, they're giving us a little bit of information. One possibility is to distract us, um, to give us something to focus on, okay, while they move something else. All right. The other possibility that I'm feeling could be that they're um, they're giving us information to kind of offset the stuff that we don't know, the stuff that's going on behind behind, okay, the stuff that's going on behind closed doors, behind um, kind of hidden. They're kind of in the shadows there, okay. So it's it's to distract from that, but also to keep the balance between the two. So you know they don't want everything hidden because of the balance of things and the order of things. All right, uh, let's move on to the next question. I do feel like there are other disappearances that we don't know about here. All uh, right, let me grab the cards. Let me set them down over here. Will they find Sergeant Fernandez, the most recent one to go missing? Will they find... <sighs> okay, I don't want to do this yes or no um, because I feel like we're going to get more information than just yes or no out of this. <sighs> Oh, 
how do I want to word this without sounding like a jackass? Um, what can we know about them, about Sergeant Fernandez being found? What can we know about him being found? I didn't get a number for the cards, so I'm going to keep flipping it. Okay. Yep, that's it. <clears throat> okay, so this would be the Six of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so we have... Hmm, I think there it's going to take... It's going to take some doing to find him. I, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to like jump out there, but, um, this kind of popped into my head during another reading that I did in a group with, um, some of the readers. Um, and I was like, what is the rainbow bridge? I kept hearing the rainbow bridge and somebody told me what the rainbow bridge is. Uh, if you don't know, I want you to look it up. I don't want to say it here, but I'm seeing the rainbow bridge here off to a happier place. We've got clouds, we've got the rainbow, and I'm getting this reflected rainbow down here might be, might be something, um, uh, as above, so below. Okay, so I feel like below, <sighs> I'm gonna go back to the Six of Cups here. The Six of Cups is kind of, um, nostalgia, inner child, and also gifts. Okay, um, I get a, a large children vibe from this card always, um, whether it be your inner child or um, children, giving to children, being there for children. Um, but this is, it's like meeting your younger self or meeting with somebody that's a child. I feel like him being found. Oh, okay. It has something to do with children. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is kind of a, a slow mover. Again, with that alchemizing, that word is coming to mind again. I feel like that's what she's doing here. Um, let's take a closer look. I want to see if what I'm seeing is what I'm actually seeing here. Yeah. So I'm going to show you a little closer. Where is the... There we go. See in her hands? Does that not remind you of... The, the rose from Beauty and the Beast. Okay, but there's no dome on it. It seems to be like she's bringing it back to life. That's kind of what I get from that. And we have ancestors, birds or messengers, and then we have cats and a rat as well. So I feel like children and animals have something to do with him being found. Um, but I do feel like, I kind of feel like he crossed the Rainbow Bridge. And I'm also getting, like, underground. Now, I don't know whether or not that's physically underground or if underground meaning that behind the scenes, you know, kind of traffic. You get the, you know, from the car there. Um, and the, with the children, I feel like there might have something to do with child trafficking. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, let's move on to the next question. But I, I feel like as far as them being, you know, him being found, specifically Sergeant Fernandez, um, I believe... I don't know if they'll actually find him. But I do believe that he has crossed that rainbow bridge. Um, something having to do with underground, meeting ancestors, meeting your... Young, you know, your child self. I don't know if he has any children. Didn't look that far into it. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's kind of, um, I think you get where I'm going with that. I'm going to, I'm going to move on. All right. The next question, will there be more disappearances? Will there be more disappearances at Fort Hood? swords both of them are swords we have the four of swords which is about rest but with the monsters coming out of the bed 
what are what what are those monsters going to do with her they're going to take her okay um Anybody else getting suicide from this? Could that be what's next? But um, I'm getting a, a yes. People are going to disappear. They're going to disappear in the night while that you know, like maybe while they're sleeping. Is that how they're going now? We don't really know. Um, with Sergeant Fernandez and Vanessa, who I can't remember her last name. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll have to like light a candle for her. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're definitely going to be, you know, stolen in the night and possibly there might be some suicides happening. Oh my goodness. I can see why this deck called. Um, why are the people disappearing? What can we know about why they're disappearing? Other majors. <laughs> okay, so we have here the Ten of Wands, which is, I mean, like a, she's a witch being burned at the stake, but at, at least that's how it appears to me. Um, talks about being burdened, being um, overworked, you know, overwhelmed, overworked, burdened. Then we have the Three here. And, uh, sorry, the, the, sorry, I lost a, uh, I lost a little something there. Um, this would be the Empress, and this would be the Fool. So what I'm kind of getting, the question, why are the people disappearing? Why are there disappearances at Fort Hood? <clears throat> I get the sense that something, they're like, with all that fire, trying to burn something down, they're trying to, I feel like with, with the, the good energy of the Empress, I feel like they're trying to change, there's trying to be a transition here of overwhelm and feeling like you're all under fire, um, trying to move that energy, oh, moving the energy, um, moving to, the, this is the, you know, creation and birth, the Empress is about creating something, and then we have the Fool, which is, you know, the beginning. So I feel like there, there's really something about trying to... Oh my gosh. Okay, so completely not having to do with the cards intuitively about... Um, something just came in about there being... The people are disappearing to bring awareness to create a shift. So I don't feel like this shift is necessarily being created by, okay, I just heard the greater good, but I don't feel like the, the shift is being created necessarily by the government or by um, the military. I feel like there's an outside force that is causing these disappearances to be brought to light, oh, brought to light, um, so that there can be a new energy in that, in that place. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's there's something going on behind the scenes, again with this card, behind the scenes, not necessarily having to do with the military, but maybe, you know, universe, um, galactically, something else, something much larger with all these major arcana cards, because these two are majors too. We have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana cards. Seven. No. What was this? No, that was a knight. Um, a lot, of, a lot of major arcana. This is definitely something a lot bigger than we know. Um, I don't know if we will ever know, but I feel like there is the reason for it. The why are the people disappearing is to bring awareness so that we can so that we can come out of this energy. I, I still feel like there's something to do specifically with the location. Um, that there may be some kind of like vortex or portal or something at that location that's causing something. Um, something kind of more sinister but I'm also getting a lot of positive vibe cards okay um as well as really dark cards so again with that balance keeping the balance between the dark and the light I think that's why this is going on so that a shift can be made so that changes can be made from this um energy of you know flame and burden and um having to carry such a burden in in having a the the birth of a new start of the birth of a new place um 
yeah, so that's what I'm getting for why. I, I, I feel like they're disappearing to bring awareness um, to what's really going on there. Um, but yeah, so I want to ask if there's a curse. Is there a curse at Fort Hood? I'm going to do one card, kind of as a yes or no. Major Arcanas, Court Cards, and Aces will be a yes. Anything else will be considered a no. We will also look at the imagery to see if that um, speaks to any other parts of possibility of a curse, okay? Is there a curse at Fort Hood? That'd be the Nine of Cups. I'm going to say that's not a curse. Um, that was a no. Let's take a look at the imagery here. We have him replicating the um, traditional Nine of Cups on the wall back here. Okay, so we don't actually have Nine of Cups, we have 18 Cups. Does that make sense? So I feel like there's a duplication, not necessarily a curse. Oh, okay. Like a dimensional thing. Okay, like a, uh, a duplicate dimension like there's there's a duplication okay something is being copied not necessarily cursed i don't know what that might mean if you feel inclined to jump down this rabbit hole please leave comments and let me know what you find um but i feel like it, it has something to do with the duplication not necessarily a curse now the nine of cups we also have the ten of cups these are very emotionally fulfilled type energies the cups having to do with emotions and feelings um and the nine being very like satisfied in in your zone on it right um being able to take care of yourself emotionally so that may have something to do with it as well but i'm getting this duplication okay there's there's a duplication i don't know what that means for this um but i don't I, I'm, i've got to know for um is there a curse so um i hope that i hope that things get better I love the Empress being here, another positive card. I hope that things get better and that, you know, the truth comes out. Will we find the truth? I'm going to add a question here. Will we find out the truth about what's really going on at Fort Hood? That is a major arcana. That is the lover's card, I believe. So the lover's card is about, you know, choices and... Um, partnerships and alliances is popping up in my head alliances so you know will we find out the truth um, you know if we choose to see it if we peek in the window if we well that's I think a mirror and she's like would be over here looking into the room and reflecting her looking around the door but if we choose to look at it um, we will find out the truth but you know we have to choose, we have to make a choice whether or not we want to see the truth. Um, that goes to speak to more than what's going on, but to your own personal beliefs. And so, yeah, and also for some reason the word alliances came up, um, alliance. So there may be um, an alliance that may reveal something. I mean, this is kind of a revealing card, so that could be as well, but you know. I just started it, your mission should you choose to accept it and that's kind of um with that choices so yeah there there we have it um let's all you know light a candle say a prayer for sergeant fernandez um and send send energy and um healing to his family all right so thank you again for joining me let me know what you thought in the comments and i will see you in the next one have a good day